Today we're installing the swivel seat. Let's get to it. First thing we gotta do is we gotta unbolt these and disconnect the battery. these off to the side for safekeeping and pop this out and what is that one this one has a washer but this one doesn't that's weird okay I'm gonna go ahead and take this mat off here I think we just pull it out yep pull it out all good all right let's take this off and we're taking off the battery first because there's some electrical components under the seat that uh, we don't want to, you know, accidentally get electrocuted. So we're going to take the battery off, just disconnect. I'm going to put these in the cup holder so I don't lose them. Okay, well here's the battery. Now we need to take off, uh, we need to just disconnect the battery basically. And I'm um, doing negative first. Just loosen that up and it should be able to just pop it right out. There we go. Make sure this doesn't touch anything. You don't want this touching the, the positive side. I'm just going to put that in my glove right there. Make sure it doesn't touch that again either uh, while I'm working on it or else it'll, you know, it'll be activated. But just put this off to the side okay now we got to take this one off the positive got all kinds of stuff on there it looks like pretty crazy but I think I'm just gonna loosen this one and hope that it comes off okay it's loose and then it comes off yes all right cool now we need to just keep this off the actual battery uh, I need to put something there so it, if I just leave it like that it's just gonna touch again and then it'll activate the battery so I have the floor or I have this the cover that was on here and I just put that in between that'll work so the depending on the model of the sprinter you have you might have a little disconnect under uh, right by the gas pedal up in there up in the gas pedal area you might be able to just pop it off but mine doesn't have that so I have to directly disconnect from the battery I've seen people with that disconnect uh, option on like the 2017 models I have the 2020 and it doesn't have it so that's messed up I guess they took it away for some reason so I actually realized that there is actually one of those plugs uh, to disconnect the power it's actually behind this panel here so you just pop this off and you can see it's right there and then if you pop that off your power will be disconnected I'm gonna scoot that seat all the way up forward I'm gonna take that off there take that off what the heck is that I don't have that do I look at these uh, look at these star bolts these hex ones seems like they would work on there <laughs> um, I'm not sure if that's the right thing to do but let me check my stuff let's give it a shot with this hex one and if it works great <laughs> I know I'm probably not supposed to be using this for it but look at that Hey, it worked. <laughs> All right, these two in the back are loose. I'm gonna bring the seat back and do the front. There we go. I will leave this in my cup holder. Everything's going in. All the bolts are going in my cup holder. All right, let me make sure to take the back ones off now. I only loosen the back. There we go. It's coming off now. As you can see here, there's a wire connected onto the seat. 
So we're gonna have to take that off. There we go. Comes off. You just gotta pinch the buttons. And I'll put the seat off to the side. Oh, look at this. If you ever wonder what's inside the seat of this uh of this of the box on the passenger side, the answer is a whole lot of nothing, man. Just empty space. Later down the line we'll probably end up putting a heater in here. Um, a lot of people would put those, what is it called, like the diesel heaters. But uh, we don't need it right now because it's going to be summer soon. So we don't have to worry about that yet. The one we got was the low profile one, the lowest, the, the thinnest ones we could find. And I think that is, it is called uh, the Scopima, Scopima Sprinter Swivel Seat. These things lift up the seat several inches, um, some of them, depending on which one you get. And Jocelyn sits here most of the time, and her feet already, like, barely touch the ground when she's sitting on the seat. So, so, so you know, we can't, just trying to accommodate her as much as possible. I'm just going to put the wire through here. See if these holes line up. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, not quite. There. That one's perfect. That one's perfect. Alright, I'm gonna put these bolts back in, just hand tighten them. Just the pictures are awful. So what am I looking at? Look at this one. Like, what the hell is that? Angle grinder, I see that. That's just black. <laughs> I installed this um, the wrong way, upside down and opposite I'm just gonna flip this over okay. all right now that is the right side so you want this handle here to be facing up and on the inside of the van and we're installing the new ones that it came with I'm hoping I don't have to drill any of these. I've seen the videos of other people having to have to drill it. Oh, this one is this one is close. I might have to. Okay, come on, please fit. Yes, yes. <laughs> it goes in. What a surprise! Sweet. Everything is pretty much hand tightened. Now we just need a hex key. They say to cut the rails a bit. But I'm gonna just try to install it without cutting them first. See if it works. And if not, we will cut them up. And they give you bolts for this as well. Brand new bolt. Comes with a, a bolt and a nut. A locking nut. These ones in the front. That is loosely in right now. Let's just test this out. Bam. Is it supposed to lock in or something? But it clears. Swivels all the way around. Alright, let me just finish tightening. And I gotta plug the, the power back in. Ah. Swivel seat is in. That was actually really easy. That only took maybe half an hour and not much issue. There is one little thing. So when this swivels on the seat, this is like, this is on the original seat right here. There's a piece that's bolted down and then it just, it's just to guide the seat, I think, in the right hole. It's hard to see, but. This piece right here, and on the underside, that little point, that right there. And I can't take that off, that's just kind of in the seat. It sort of scrapes a little bit. And don't forget to reconnect your batteries and put the floor back together. So we go backwards now, positive first. Oh. Down. 
that's back on. Let's put the negative back on. There you go, guys. Then don't forget to reconnect with seat two. So after I installed the swivel seat, I realized that the uh, instructions that told me to cut it off, they were talking about the little tiny kind of pin uh, that was sticking out the bottom that was hitting on there that I showed you guys. So they were telling me to cut that off, not the actual bar. So I realized that and I was like, oh, okay. Obviously, that was uh, my bad. Uh, reading the instructions, I should have just read it a little more carefully. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna take that off right now just with the angle grinder and we'll see how that works. That should make it much smoother, much better, much easier to turn it. Yeah, I think that spins much better. Good, all right, cool. Nice. It's gonna open up the space a lot, and I know people have been suggesting you gotta put a swivel seat in. That's been our plan since the beginning, so. And we finally got it in, so yeah. That's one step closer. By the way, we haven't named this fan. Should we put a name? Should we give him a name? What should we name him? Leave him in the comments. See you guys. Thanks for watching.